Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. It is a horrible day outside, it's raining so badly, you can probably hear it. So it's probably a good day to stay inside and bake a lovely delicious chocolate cake. Today we're going to be using another Mary Berry recipe. I'm using the same book as I did last time I made the video, so if you want to go check that one out, there's going to be a link in the description below. What you're going to need for this recipe is one and a half tablespoons of cocoa powder, three tablespoons of hot water, 175 grams of soft margarine, 175 grams of caster sugar, three eggs, 175 grams of self-raising flour, one and a half teaspoons of baking powder, and you're going to have to heat your oven to 180 degrees. You're going to want to start off by putting your cocoa powder and your hot water into a bowl. Mix them both together so there are no more lumps, and then you want to leave it to cool. Now that you've left your chocolate mixture to cool, then you're going to add the rest of the ingredients, starting off with the self-raising flour. You're going to put that through a sieve, just to get all the lumps out and to make sure that your cake is nice and airy. Next you're going to be adding the baking powder, add the sugar, the butter, the eggs. Now that all of your ingredients are in your bowl, you're just going to start off by mixing it up a little bit before you move over to your hand whisk. Now that your mixture is well combined, it's time to put them into your baking tins that I have lined both of mine with baking sheets. I normally use baking paper, but I recently found these reusable baking sheets that work just like baking paper and I actually love them, they work so well. And now we're going to be separating the mixture evenly into each pan. When it comes to how to do it evenly, I like to just eyeball it. I never like... You could use a scales or something, but I like to just guess. It makes it a lot more fun. And normally it's probably just about even anyway. Once you've evenly distributed the mixture into both of your pans, you just want to pick one up and tap it on your surface just to make sure that it's all even and flat. And then I'm gonna go in with a spatula and make a small little dent in the middle of each pan. Because when you make a cake, they rise a lot and they rise in the middle. So if you make a small dent in the middle before you put it in the oven, then that means it's just gonna rise a lot more evenly and you're not gonna get too big of a arch shape. Now that your cakes have cooled, it's time to make the icing. Now for the icing, you're going to need 225 grams of icing sugar, 50 grams of margarine, 25 grams of cocoa powder, and two tablespoons of milk. You're gonna to wanna to start off melting your margarine at a medium to low heat before adding the cocoa powder. Once your margarine and cocoa powder have melted together, continue to stir for about one minute before taking it off the heat. Now it's time to add our icing sugar and our milk. I'm gonna start off by sl very slowly adding the icing sugar because it does have a tendency to poof and it's clouding at the moment and I'm getting icing sugar in my mouth. We're just gonna slowly start stirring this in. <laughs> I can taste all the icing sugar just going into my face when I'm making this. Once you stir in about a third to a half of your icing sugar, then it's time to add the milk. You might need to add a little bit more milk later, but that's okay, just Eyeball it, see if you think it's a bit too gooey, see if you think it's a bit too dry, whatever makes it combine better. My mixture is getting a bit stiff, so I've gone in with a little bit more milk, hoping that's going to soften it up a little bit. Also, I've made a mess of my countertops, but you know what? The fun of cooking is making a huge mess. The not fun of cooking is having to clean it up afterwards. Now that you've done your icing, it's time to put it on the cake. As ever, I'm going to start off by moistening my cakes by just adding a little bit of water, putting it all over the cake, just a little bit, just to stop the cake from getting a little bit too crummy. Now that you've moistened your cake up a little bit, I'm going to go in with a big spoonful, dollop it in the middle, I'm going to get a little bit of water on my spatula and from the middle just try and spread it out to all the sides doing it as evenly as I can. I might go in and get a little bit more but you have to make sure you have quite a bit for the top as well because that's the most important because that's what everyone can see. No one can see this bit. 
So if it does get a little bit messy, then you're okay, because no one's gonna say that it looks gross because you can't see it until you cut into the cake. And at that point, you're just putting it in your face. You don't care what it looks like, because it just tastes so good. Now that the filling of your cake's complete, I'm just gonna put this one on top. Moisten it with a little bit of water again, and then go on to put the rest of the filling. Our cake's almost complete, but I've got one more little trick. I think the top of this looks quite messy because I accidentally made my icing a little bit too sticky. I think maybe I needed a little bit more milk on it, but this saves everything. Get some milk chocolate and just grate it all over your cake. Because even if your icing was perfect, which it might be, and mine's just not, it just makes the cake look even more delicious and irresistible. Oh no, we have some chocolate left. What, whatever, whatever will we do with that chocolate? <laughs> I'm an addict, don't judge me. It is complete. We have our delicious Sunday best chocolate fudge cake using a Mary Berry recipe and it looks so good and it smells delicious and I can't wait to make myself a cup of tea and have a slice oh my goodness it looks so good perfect for a really rainy day this recipe is really really important to me I think it's the first cake that I ever made by myself without my mum helping me and I've been making it ever since this is when I was really really little and really really young and I still have a little stool in my kitchen that I used to stand on so I could reach everything and I still need it to reach all the cupboards up there because I'm really really small so if you like this recipe and if you like this video please give it a like it means a lot to me this recipe means a lot to me and if there's any other videos that you want any other sort of cake that you want me to make then just let me know and i'll make another one because i really enjoy these and it was a lot of fun see you next time bye